In this video, we'll see how to work with data source filters. So in this uh, example, I've created a workbook that is filters, data source filters. I've taken the same database that is Global Superstore 2017 Excel file. And uh, I have borrowed few sheets that is summary level filters and record level filters from previous workbook. Now I'll show you how to work on data source filters. Remember data source filter means whatever data you're borrowing from other place, okay, that will be filtered and that data source filters will be impacting the other sheets. Okay, let us see that. First of all, what I'll do is I'll create a bar graph or you can say as I'll create a map graph here itself. How to work on the mapping graphs, more details you can see the map graphs uh, videos itself. Let us see now. So what I'll do is I'll create a map graph. I'll just double click on this country part. Okay, if I double click on this place, I'll get a longitude and latitude here and there's a map graph which is created. There are some dots which are given, what it says, these are the countries which are given here, the names are given if you see Canada, United States. What I want to see is, I want to see the sales done in different areas itself. So I'll pick up the sales and put into the colors. So when I drop into the colors, if you observe, sum of sales and based on the colors it is given. So if you observe, these are the colors which are given and if you see these are the colors, 20 and the highest sale is given that place. Okay. If you want to see the profit again, you can just drag it and drop it in the profit. Okay, so if you see sum of profit, now it has changed to the profit itself. The lowest one is given, the highest is given, and these are the profits. Now, these are based on all the regions because I have not filtered any region. If you see, that's only the countries which are given, the filters pane is totally empty. But now what I'm talking about is the data source filters. So how do I filter the data source? So for that, what you have to do is you have to select this global superstore 2017 and you have to right click on this place. And if you see this option given as edit data source filters, so I'll click on edit data source filters. Remember, this will be from your data source. So here the filter is totally empty. I'll click on this add based on what field do you want to filter? I want to filter this based on the, let's say market. Okay. And I'll click on OK. So it says you have, you remember this window, that's a filter market here. I want to select as Asia Pacific here in this example. And you want, you can select this wildcard condition top. I'll select as Asia uh, that is Pacific and I'll click on okay. Okay. So market that keeps Asia Pacific. And now if you observe, everything is selected, Europe, Asia and Africa, everything is selected, but I want only Asia Pacific, click on okay. Now, if you select Asia Pacific, you see only those countries which falls into this Asia Pacific will be given. The other African countries, the European countries will not be visible. The above countries will not be visible. But I have filtered the data. Okay, that's a data source filter. You cannot see this filters in this filters card because it is directly from the data source. Okay, so here it is. There's no filter here. If you want to again see what happened, if I just right click on this place and if I go to this edit data source filters, Okay, here if you see that's a data source filters. So if you want, you can add some more data filters. You want, you can edit, you want, you can remove it. Okay, right now I'll click on cancel. But make sure you be careful while inserting data source filters. The reason is, if you put data source filters, this will be applied to all the worksheets. For example, if you go to this summary level fields, now you see this data will be impacted. If you go to this record level filters, this data also will be impacted. Right now I'm into this data source filters. So make sure if you insert a filter, data source filter, the other sheets also will be impacted. So what I'll do is I'll try to remove this data source filters. I'll just right click on this place, edit data source filters, select this and simply you can just click on this remove part, click on OK. And if you see the data source filters has been removed out, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we work on filters, especially on data source filters. That's all for this video.